go on, play it the wrong way. Oh, it went out of tune from the end of the last video. I think it actually went out of tune. It's that one, is it? Is it? Is it that one? No. I think it actually might have been that one, I really don't know. Sounds perfect, maybe. Turn it up a little. No. Uh. That sounds really good. Now this top one, the lowest one, it's not, it's, it was lower before. I'm giving it more of like, and then I changed this one, was it? I can't hear whatever that was now. So it's just all play as you go by ear when something's that, and I don't know any of the names of any of the notes and care to match them to a pitch pipe. I can match a, the strings from a pitch pipe, but I, don't, I couldn't really match a pitch pipe to the, um, the guitar to the harp, but I could match the harp to the guitar or the pitch pipe. Um, then I can tune a lot of the scales, but... I don't have really time to observe or pay attention to them. But this is the type of thing where, I've, where if I were to set, where if I were to say, make little notes and documents, and then go back and do the audio recording of what it is, then I could. So I mean, that I, that I could go back and learn the scales and do everything. But it's it's pointless and relatively stupid to do, as like. There's someone else out there with a better ear than me, but then there are all these other people that, uh, I don't know, that they have that kid in the beginning of the Devon's Good song, because he's really, they have him make that face because he failed guitar or something like that, and that they taught him that song very strenuously, um, 
not diligently, but strenuously. Diligently and strenuously, but to imply strenuously, as opposed to diligent, diligence and strenuous. Maybe it wasn't that strenuous, because it looks like he got that Adam and, what is it, dashboard confessional song. Did he learn that one as an, on his own? Get up a little guitar tuner and tune that. He probably found the scale to it. That they, they is that one of his. That's one of his Mormons that they taught him since he was a little kid. That they wrote that song in the 80s. I'd like to know what that was. That um. On the other hand, that I really don't care. I really don't care about this history or whatever. I hear these recordings by the people, and who made them in the time that they were done, and when I heard the actual recording, and it's something that means something to me. Um. So maybe that makes that's gonna make people not like me or whatever. But then I still have drumming and stuff that's fun to do, which is something to say. A minute of it goes good and the music's going on right to it, and then a minute of it is then it goes out of, then it's not sounding good or then it sounds good again. And then there are gonna be people that pay attention to something. That's why I think that those old old recordings that I emotionally relate to, it's gonna be something that people accept as special because that there are people that um that uh that just those little things about jazz or noise music which someone's gonna pick out that part and say it sounds good and then really notice when something's not really sounding so great um Versus when something, and then just that, that weird stuff, and then then that other stuff which is really like on point or like set, reminding people of big band or really standard music notation or whatever, but just like bizarre recordings like some how some I don't I can't even see how anybody could write off like music by Phil Ulfram, like around the time of the Glow and those albums before that or that has there's some tracks on those albums which really aren't that special or whatever or some of them which have which are just really have bizarre ambient texture or whatever which is like which someone's not really gonna recognize or whatever and that there are other people out there that are gonna say that there's something about that which is really like messing with my head I just filter through videos and Nick Williams something about that the person in the record store you could say something about that like that that it looks looks like a different person like the person was getting botox or or, the, or that that video of the cave bear is that it's either a different person or that he was actually only like six, six, 16 or 17 when playing that or something and that he's like a lot older now and that the person's head got a lot longer i really i really wouldn't know my, my cheeks definitely looked fatter in high school and i think my head actually grew like another inch in length um, but, I mean, that that person's face looks almost as, in that record store, looks as, like, long as mine down here. And then, uh, in that video, like, it's a completely circle-faced person or whatever. Which is really, which is really, uh, weird, um, wondering if that's the same person. But, uh, the person in the record store's voice kind of, like, matches up to the other person in a lot of the videos. So it's kind of bizarre and strange to me that there's a longer faced person that looks like he has Botox compared to the person in the record store um, and then the other circle pair face person in the Cave Bears Bob Dylan video which I don't which you kinda like watch it the whole time and don't really see how he could be the person could be like smiling that entire time or whatever it's just bizarre and weird. So I, I uploaded that other video yesterday talking about this same stuff. I didn't publish it. Um, so I'll probably ask about putting that painting in that store. They said on that website my sister was going to be taking all college courses. So I don't know if I really need to move right now as that I'm doing stuff. I was comparing some of these shapes that I'm doing. Like looking at this, the, this shape. That there is like a, a way to look at this where your eye catches... Um, where you kind of see a circle where you let this part catch your eye and see the circle and then the outside does. And I've been do doing like a lot of shapes. I pointed some of the pencil stuff out. It's like I can do a circle in pencil. And that a lot of people can. That this is doing the wrong way with finger painting. 
like this. They pointed one of these out and made the same ones. They definitely showed me this when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure that they point this out and say it looks like Kevin Kelly or something like that. Someone they had me working at Costas. They say Tommy up on a Fat Day album because my someone my father knew it was the manager there and that's someone that related to him and they actually pointed that out to me in like second grade or first grade or kindergarten or around that time before that bakery closed. Just a lot of weird stuff coming from the jurisdiction of those people. Um, that kid, uh, Kevin Kelly, for someone with, that uh, has a really bizarre personality for, compared to uh, personality traits that I have for talent for people that are talented, um, comparing my own personality traits to people that are talented compared to uh, how that person sounds really introverted whoever that is, whether he's related to uh, the guy at Costas, that he sounds really introverted. And I think of myself as a talented person. I'm guessing that he's someone that's never going to come back to be able to bang at me um, as far as playing any of the songs or doing any of the music that I've done or, or doing any music at all in general. Um, and that, that it's just the way that that person comes off. Um, so... Just, I, I, I like these canvases doing the stuff in the background and doing these faces. Like, this is like kind of like the wrong way. This is like perfect. Like, I love the way that this came out. The way that the posture that's going along to the neck. Um, just even the lines in the background, too. Like, they're really unnecessary, but they're not really hurting the appeal of it and making you wonder if it's giving more appeal or more. more posture to the circleness of the face with the smudged paint which is smudged the wrong way um, for it to be like a circle or the shape of someone's head like if you look up there like that's really not the right way but it, it gives some like depth um, or it's the wrong way where it's abstract um, where it looks good or it's like the colors of it are nicer on the eye or more flat on the eye compared to uh, a circle, but that's a, that's a lie to say something like that. To say that an image is going to be like that therapeutic on that level, I mean, this not really muddied, muddied crud paint, um, and then this color in the background. I really like the color on that, so I really, really have no reason to really want to. I think you could go over this and. That I feel like it, that this is kind of like incomplete. I could go over this. That that's a perfect one. That I did that other. I guess I'll upload it. You don't, you don't know who's showing this on YouTube. That they documented that image. That supposedly the nightmare, the something before Christmas, night before Christmas. Guy Charles Dickens they did a painting that looks like him. That I can't even really think. To go, let it, like I feel like this canvas is perfectly like documented, like stuff like this and this that I don't want to go on to even finish this because I feel like it's a full image. But to say that this is a piece or whatever, that like it's art, you're gonna tell little kids it's art because that there's something going the wrong way in it, that it hurts, that you're doing that, that you do have they take me those things, little pretty and things art shows to survey people. They were doing that when I was a little kid around me, and, and um, I guess when I was really young that I was really attentive to it, and then they showed me different stuff when I was a little older, that I didn't really have too much of, opinion on, of an opinion on it. Um, so I feel like I could, I want to go on to draw a green nose like that um, image. Um, the newer set of four faces that I put on that Eternity account. I like doing the noses like that, but then someone else is gonna say that, oh, you're wasting paint or whatever, that it doesn't look good, but that this image, that it doesn't need a nose, but I'm gonna put the nose on and it, and it's, it's not really gonna look good or whatever. Um, that, but I'm sure if I uh, kept doing it long enough, I would come across images which did look good. But then there's ways um, to really try to learn how to paint, or say it's gonna look like chara or whatever, where I could do efforts to look like stuff, to make it 
have more depth than just drawing a green sloppy nose. Like a one, just like a like how they cut the nose out of an image of a pumpkin, one slop of paint over it. Like to say that they put this image here for me to dock it for. But it's if I go to color this part on the side the exact way and just only look at that piece and do this like it's coming off like a sideward triangle or rectangle this it's gonna be pinker at the top um, then like around the nose bridge and then kinda like gets pink in the middle then light combines to where the eye is and then like a flat nose thing there and then kinda that if I go along with the colors I'm gonna be able to do a nose that but it's gonna come out cartoon and amateur, like amateur, um, and not very good, and, not, and that it, that there's somebody that could actually go on to do like every pixel perfectly of painting that to say that that they're the person that's supposed to be painting one that they have abstract realm of shape um, and doing abstract art or whatever. And that there are other inks to do to do art of drawn like that, which you might have. Uh, better luck working with than acrylic paint or not better luck but more depth that you're gonna have more depth or whatever that, that doing oil paint is even stuff above acrylic paint or whatever so I mean that pe that, that, that uh, I did that painting people want to carry on doing these paintings or it's and it's people say it's something anybody can do or whatever but that there, I think that there's a certain amount of detail or whatever to do on like that, or like that, where someone's gonna see something like this and like, oh, I'm gonna do some of these or whatever, or like, I don't know, like, just one little, I added this little yellow spot there that it just loses its shape or whatever, and somebody's gonna not notice that, just how this was like hole in there, but what is that, that it, that it, it has some, it's just bizarre how it's taking on the sh like the momentum or the, the shape of like, say that I'm on camera, that this part of my face is going to be closer to the camera than right here, that there's that, that, that the same things going on, or that, that, that the lack of paint, like it's t the same way that um, I point out the different colors there, that there's there's something going on where it kind of makes sense that this, like, doesn't look good or doesn't look right, but on another level that it looks good and it looks right and it looks special to me, um, where there's some people just going to make, be better at doing certain things than others, that, like, this is really not, not good, but I mean, I like it, and then someone's going to go on and do their whole set of stuff like that, and then... This is something that they were talking about to me to no end when I was a little kid, or that you draw a circle like that, and that the circle is set up to be able to put the eyes with the momentum as a cartoon on it like that. That, I mean, is it special that I do it? That I mean, I did that other painting. I like doing it. How much am I actually going to want to do that? It's something I do infrequently, dicking around. That, um, that there are other types of paintings, tons of other stuff to do that I just don't even really, really, um, care or feel like doing it, that there's, like, only so many combinations of those Tetris block stuff can you do, only so many lines, so I guess that this is, like, an area where that they put a lot of unfit to breed people, and that they're, like, socially monitoring and surveying people, and that there's some, something going on with the New World Order, with their, which they're letting me, um, know about fake news stories on my internet and stuff like that and they talked about this around me when I was a little kid my father went down to a news story and nothing was there and then people inducted him into the FBI and they were inducting they were inducting people into the FBI at that bakery or whatever um, so I think this is the type of thing where uh, I mean hope, hopefully what I've done on this YouTube what I've been talking about if my neighbors heard me talking in the past or that my ESP transmissions are kind of, kind of like making sense on this YouTube. Hopefully people heard me talking in the past and that uh, people were monitoring me in 2006, 2007 to, to where I was doing that painting and that you saw me do the painting um, with these house cameras that you're using and stuff and that uh, that, uh, that uh, people are 
in appreciation and accordance what I'm doing and 